Reworking of menus sounds boring. Not in this case and not in GrandMA3 version 1.7. So first of all, we rework the backup menu. So let's have a look at the menu and we choose backup. And first of all, you can see the backup menu now got a full screen menu. So it's easier to navigate, it has a better structure and it has a better overview for the user. At the end, what you're doing now is to select first the option you want to choose. So whether you want to load a show file, you want to create a new show file, or you want to save or delete a show file. So that means first of all, press load, for example, and then you have your list of show files to load or to delete or to save whatever you want to do. You have some of the options here at the bottom left corner. So you can show the show file history, or you can show a description of the show file. So both options are available here. And at the bottom right corner, and this is very important, is the action button. So always, doesn't matter if you load a show file or you delete or you save a show file, the button for the action will be at the bottom right corner. So that means your muscle memory is created faster and easier than before. Additionally, you can find some information like the free space of your internal disk. So some additional information which might be useful when you save or load or delete some show files. Then we rework the patch as well. So we open the menu again, we go to the patch and we insert a new fixture. What you can see first of all, that we just have two different tabs here. So the fixtures which are already part of our show and just one library. And that's the main thing for this release. So we concluded all the different libraries together to one library. So we don't have the GrandMA3, GrandMA2, GDTF library tabs anymore separated, but we just have one fixture library where you can find all the different fixtures you need for your show. In this case, we just search for a Roby fixture, for example. So we have a look at the manufacturer list and we can find Roby lighting here. And the great thing is when you are connected to the internet and therefore you are connected to the world server, you can find the indicator here. Then you will find some symbols here on the right hand side which indicate that this fixture is coming from the GDTF share directly and that it's manufacturer approved. So you will find immediately the GDTF fixtures which are built by the manufacturer. And especially if you select one of those fixture types and you enable the description here at the bottom left corner, you can find the source which says GDTF share, you can find the correct file name, you can find the creator and some additional information like the file size or the version number. So in general, a more structured patch, a more structured backup menu. So just two of the important menus, which give you a bit more workflow, a better user experience and therefore easier and faster to use in GrandMA3 version 1.7.